All right, so we're gonna be working right in the bite box. We're talking about transitioning. Transitioning from a bite sleeve to a bite jacket, from bite legs to bite pants. So we're gonna be talking about that transition real quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call him to bite this. During the transition, trainers often use intermediate equipment, such as a bite suit arm sleeve, which simulates the experience of biting a full body suit. I'm gonna tap it. Like this. Good boy. Ooh, yeah, good boy. Light little tap. Ooh, good boy. Ooh, ooh, good boy. Ooh, ooh. This transition helps the dog learn to bite a more realistic and full body target, preparing them for real life scenarios where they may need to protect their handler. Oh, 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 yes. So we got him biting. And it's great when you can have a dog in the bite box and biting like this. And it sucks when you can't get a dog to bite like this. And you just make comments on YouTube. Just make comments on YouTube. Boy. Boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So now we're going to do that same transition and we're going to do the bite. Boy. We're going to do the jacket. So, same transition. Kira, come over here. The transition from a bite sleeve to a bite suit is an essential step in the training process for protection dogs. So, same transition. So we have the same transition. Woo! 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 And I'm gonna have this inside grip right here so you can see it from that angle. Woo! 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 So you can see it from that angle. Now I'm gonna get my pressure. Oh, same thing. Woo. Yes, good boy. Ah. I got him right here where I can pet him. Woo. Every time he digs in, oh, I give him that. I give him that noise. Good boy. Woo. Good boy. Holding that grip. Woo. Good boy. You can see the grip right there. Woo. Good boy. He's calm. Let's see him take some pressure. He's taking pressure. Good boy. Woo. Woo. Good boy. And then we're gonna go ahead and give it give him the suit. Good boy. Good job. Alright, Kerry, you can stop. I'm gonna call him to the leg first as I push backwards and it's gonna release him and he's gonna bite the leg. <laughs> so he got a good target on the leg. He pulled it off pretty fast. <laughs> All right, out, 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 leave. out, leave it. Come here. Here you go. All right, so now I'm gonna put on the, the jacket of the pants. <laughs> Hey, Mama, what do you think? Chili for dinner tonight? Yeah. Providing some protection for the decoy. This equipment helps the dog become comfortable with biting larger targets and gradually builds their confidence and skill in protection work. Big and small. You don't want chili dogs here? <laughs> All right. You say you are already recording? Yeah. All right. So we're going to start using the leg. I'm going to backpedal. He's going to bite. And then I'm going to start 
hitting them with the stick. All right, I'll go around this tire. Woo, 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 whenever you're ready. Woo, 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 woo. Good boy. Woo. Good boy. Good boy. Woo. Good boy. Woo. Woo. Good boy. Woo. Good boy. Woo. Good boy. All right, Anna, you can go ahead and out him. Out. Out. Right. Here. Good boy. All right, so this is the final. We'll put on the whole suit. And so by putting on the whole suit, we're making him choose a target. Now I can, I can give him a target, or I can choose one for him. So, whatever you ready, Anna. Woo! He chose the arm. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Woo! Yes, good boy. Woo! Woo! Good boy, right? Woo! Woo! Good boy! Woo! Woo! Good boy! Woo! So, Anna, you can come grab this right here, and then you can out him. Out! Right! Out! Leave it! Leave it! Out! Riot! Out! No. Ah. There we go. All right. So this time I'm gonna take away the arm and see if he goes for the leg. You ready? Whatever you're ready. Woo! And he went back for the arm. Woo! Woo! Good boy. Ooh, good boy. Out. Out. Right. Good boy. He out better this time. Yeah. All right, so we'll do this last bite right here. And see if he goes around the tire or over the tire. Woo. Ha. Woo. He went around the tire. He's tired. That's why he went around the tire. Woo. Good boy, man. Good boy. Woo. Good boy, right? Good boy. Woo. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Woo. Good boy. Now try to out him from right there. Out. Right here. Right here. Right here. Out. Out. Leave it. Here. It's important to note that the goal of this training is to develop a dog that can effectively protect and apprehend without being overly reliant on specific training equipment. <laughs> right. The successful transition of Riot from biting a sleeve and leg sleeve to a full bite suit is an impressive accomplishment. This progression in Riot's training demonstrates his growing skill set and adaptability in protection work. So we did arms. It's important to note that the goal of this training is to develop a dog that can effectively protect and apprehend without being overly reliant on specific training equipment. So I'm going to come back up and shake out his hand. Good boy. Good boy. Good leave it. And then I should have the ability to be able to pet him after we're done training. Good boy. Gonna get you some water. Right. So that's bite one on one. Thank you, Anna, for being the handler. Thank you. What do you think me. overall with uh, <laughs> his biting? Oh, he's awesome. He's awesome, isn't he? He's very good. So that was Riot. He's a Dutch Shepherd, and he just did bite one on one for you guys. I'm Rodriguez Carter, Madison Bell. This is Anna Carter. Kira Carter's holding the camera. All right, guys. Welcome back to Madison Bell. And before we start anything, let's do some house cleaning. Um, we're going to start with if you post a comment and it's irrelevant for my trolls, no one's ever going to see it. 
Don't waste your time writing out a big paragraph about how much you hate me. You don't even know me or my dogs or the training we do. I really don't care. You don't pay any of our bills. You don't train any of the dogs we train. Uh, you don't even make content. So to me, you mean you're meaningless to me. You're nobody. You're just a, a, a avatar on social media, writing a post, talking negative about people. That doesn't faze me. And I will never give you the attention you want. So, but if I were you, I would stop watching my videos. Because if my videos irritate you, then don't watch them. Maybe it could be the quality. Maybe it's, you can hear the volume. Maybe the dogs are actually doing work and it bothers you. That's a personal thing with you. That's your insecurities. Do not confuse your insecurities with my confidence. Okay. So to the next point, um, I could care less what you think protection dog training is. I have another channel where we've, uh, we have over 7,000, several thousand dogs that we've trained on that page. And we've been training protection dogs since 2016. We haven't been training them to go get a trophy. Um, we haven't been training them, uh, our personal dogs and showing off how well we did and took 10 years. We're training clients dogs who want their dogs trained in protection and dogs that can protect their homes. And that is the dogs you see. So I could care less. The client doesn't care either. Nobody cares. Okay. The dogs get trained. We upload the content. We're very transparent about how we train and the dogs we train and all the work we do. And we don't have to go to a club and, and beg a bunch of dog trainers to show us to do and then go online and make comments about what you think it might be, right? If you want to address me personally, you have to have the content to match what you're saying. You can't just type something and I believe you. I don't believe you. Uh, most people haven't even been around protection dogs, let alone in the vicinity of one. They go off of what they see on YouTube and what they've been told and what they have saw and what their partner did and this and that. I've been training dogs for the U.S. Marine Corps. I've trained dogs for law enforcement. I was a police officer. I don't care. I don't. I don't mean that in any fret, but I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. No one's ever going to see your comment. And I absolutely do not care. Now, to the people who do watch us, thank you. We post these videos, they're entertainment videos for you. Uh, maybe you own a Dutch Shepherd, maybe you own a, a Presa Canary, maybe you own some type of dog of that stature. And we train, we post these videos so you can see us do it and then you can do it with your dog. There's about 10 different ways you can train a dog to heal. There's 10 different ways you can train a dog to bite. There's 10 different ways and we utilize all methods. All right, we're completely transparent. We don't hide anything and we show people who are interested in learning about dogs. I'm a dog trainer where if you contacted me, you reached out, I will talk to you personally on the phone and I will tell you what you're doing and help you out. I'm not one of those guys that I'm too big to be touched, all right? I don't hang and roll with Pacific people so Pacific people think that I'm, I, I only roll by myself. I could care less what you think of me as a black man, as a black dog trainer, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. What matters to me and my clients and what I do here with my, my dogs and my family. So you can forego the comment. No one's going to see it. No one's going to care. And just not watch the video and move on to another video. So now we're done with house cleaning. Let's get to some dog training.